Welcome back to Marwell Manor Farm for episode 14 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's, well, I was going to say early morning. It's not really early morning. It's 10 past 8. I'm sure I started yesterday's episode and it was like 20 past 8. And then I had that monumental mistake. And uh, we ended up 3 o'clock in the afternoon, which then caused us to... Uh, close that to go right the way through. Well, I could have just jumped over the wall, I suppose, couldn't I? Field 19 has been cleared, and the grass has probably regrown again by now. Um, but it was fertiliser sprayed, spread, not sprayed. So that's on full fertilising again. Um, fields 13 and 14 were seeded with soybean and they're growing. They're all looking good. But here's the more important thing. Uh, that's nearly full. We're nearly there on that one. I stuck one hay bale in for the sheep because they're still producing and they needed feed. Actually, I'm going to turn that light off now. Don't need that on, do I? Um, I <laughs> to say I had a bit of a hiccup here is an understatement. This was absolutely looking fantastic. And I had three very neat rows on top that just needed compacting this morning. Then I thought, oh, I know what I'll do, because there was lots of muck all out the front here. I'll grab the loading wagon, and I'll drive up forwards and pick it all up and take it and put it into the pit, which was great. Apart from the fact, as I drove into the pit, I forgot to turn the loading wagon off, and it just gouged a massive, great big dip out the middle of this. <sighs> Never goes swimmingly, does it? Anyway, I'm going to move this out of the way. So, like I say, everything's off that field. That's all done. Um, I haven't checked to see how much we've actually got. But what we've got to do now is compact. And I said about rollers and various different things. And I mentioned in yesterday's episode that I had put uh, twins on the baked bean um, to use well, as a silage roller, I suppose. Um, this could probably do a little bit of TLC because that's been running around quite a lot so we'll take that up and give that a bit of a uh, bit of repair in a moment so I've got all vehicles standing by so <laughs> this looks phenomenal look at that <laughs> I love it what a great bit of kit. It just about fits with the gate though. So, let's get compacting, shall we? This thing goes over the thing. It's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, so this is the bit where it all went a little bit. It went kind of horribly wrong. When you've got nice, neat rows, it kind of compacts very easily. It does a great job of it. And again, this is another one of those jobs that I find incredibly therapeutic. There are probably quicker ways, like I say, with silage rollers and levelers and absolute farm dog all those kind of things but when you're going backwards and forwards with these and especially when you've got twins on you get these little peaks where it misses between the wheels and then you kind of me personally anyway being OCD trying to get all those peaks flattened and I don't know just enjoy it so yeah so we've got our own little uh, little I say little our own silage roller this is the bit that's annoying me now I'm really cross with that but I did that just didn't think didn't think it through but we're getting this better than it was isn't it? you can see as it starts to flatten you can see it all moving already Than anything that spills out the front and I try and tidy up. I want to try and get as much into it as I can before I blank it. I don't want to blank it and then leave a load out the front on the floor if that's at all possible. So I'll try and get as much into it as I can. Actually, that's smoothed off and way better and quicker than I thought it was going to. So I probably could do a little bit more. So 
So a couple of minutes on this, and I think we'll be there. Let's get some round at the back sorted out. I did try to drive up on this with the armour track because I had a little bucket load of uh, chaff off the floor and it, it's surprising how much difference twins or wide tyres and kind of that make I think I suppose you just kind of imagine it's a lot better they, they don't seem to sink in as much the armour track just seemed to disappear into the silage or the chaff at the moment it's not silage yet but it was quite surprising I have to say I, I wasn't expecting it Hit the silage wall, silage, the silo wall. We've got to be almost there. And I, what did I say the other day? I thought 750,000. I did say a million litres straight off, and that was probably a little bit of an over exaggeration. I don't think we're going to get that. But possibly 750. We're not really far off, I don't think. Just got to clear up all this spill out the front. Problem is, every time I try and clear it up, I then drive over it, which then causes it to spill out again. So let's see if I can at any point. Yeah, see, it all just comes back out. I might just have to blanket and then pick it up and maybe put it into another silo. That might be the best bet, mightn't it? Yeah. Take it over to the silo at Southview's farm, maybe. But at least now I've paid for the twins. As I said yesterday in yesterday's episode, putting the twins on this cost me about seven thousand something. It, was, it wasn't cheap. So let's have a quick check on here. Then what are we looking at? Help window on. Seven hundred and fifty-two thousand two hundred twenty-two. That wasn't a bad, I say a guesstimate, it was a guesstimate. And it was, I have to say, pretty much spot on. Now a little bit of it will be out the front here. So, you know, it is what it is. Okay, well it's 100% compacted, so let's blanket the silo. So we've got this bit out the front here. What I need to do then, where did I leave it? Oh, I should have closed the gate, shouldn't I? This has only got a very small uh, little silage fork on the front of it, and it's uh, what, 700 and something litres. It's not huge. So I probably could have done this a lot quicker if I'd have had a bigger implement on the front. But... What I should be able to do. There you go. All the stuff up to the front of the. Uh, clear that up again. It's that OCD thing. I don't. I don't want it left there. Um, where shall I put it into? Just a trailer, I guess. Into one of the trailers. Uh, I say into one of the trailers. I've only really got one trailer and I can't really put it on top of the, uh, the other ante. So, it seems like a very large trailer to be putting it into. Um, let me tip into the loading mic, and it might do. Oh, let's give it a go, it's smaller, it'll be easier to get over there. It seems like a ridiculously small amount, but... As long as I don't forget it's there, of course. That Russell Mesh 403 was just brilliant. I love the start-up sound of it, it operating well. Now I'm recording this at the moment. It is 20 past 9 on the 19th and at 10 a.m. Um, patch 1.3.0 goes live so there should be a few changes game-wise bug fixes and various different things BGA and 
uh, stuff to do with landscaping. There's a whole list of stuff on the update. Um, so that should be going live at 10 o'clock. What we'll do now, because this was the job I wanted to get done yesterday and didn't quite get there. Just ties that away. There we go. Sorted. Brilliant. So that's now going to ferment. That's going to take a little while, but we'll leave that to ferment. I'll take the twins off of that. We need to harvest field 21. Uh, I need to get the corn off that for farm Eric, and that'll be that one done. Then I'm going to lease that field back off him so I can stick another crop in that. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in that at the moment. I'm going to check my contract because I've got a few different ones. Um, I have got another one for sugar beet, but the problem is having done... I've got two contracts for 200,000 litres of each. Uh, 200,000 litres uh, of sugar beet, which means 400,000 litres. I don't then want to plant another whole field of sugar beet, but we'll see what we have spare. We might have a load spare. Um, could do sunflowers. I haven't done those yet. And like I say, I've got some uh, got some logging contracts to do. The eggs are producing at a quite a surprising rate, considering I've only got 100. And, what am I up to now? 158, something like that. Let's have a look. Chicken. Oh no, 184. What well, come I bought originally now. 184 and 2 and then 20 we had 20 from Lord of the Manor so we've got four new ones as well and um, we're up to 51 litres in the new box and I think we've got about 6 or 7 boxes stacked up by the side sheep are at 939 litres so they're not far off a 1000 so that'll be another box or another pallet done so horses was something I talked about these four here aren't the names that Barris gave me and they're not the types either because I'd actually sorted this out before he messaged me back. But anyway, uh, Barris is riding stables. He's got Simba, Oliver, Whisper and Faith. And now two horses, Garris and Harry, are still there. I haven't chosen names. Farmer um, Foley came back to me with the names he wanted for them. Um, so I've just got to go through that email and I will change those at some point. But they were exercised yesterday. The value in hell has gone back up to where it should have been because they were quite low yesterday because I forgot to exercise them the day before. Um, so they'll get exercised today. They need some more hay. Um, actually, that's a good point while I'm here, because I think, if I'm not mistaken, this silage fork can, can pick up a bale, can't it? Yes, it can. Kind of. Let's drop that down a little bit, because I don't want to put in too much weight on the um, track. Right, I'm going to go and feed the horses over here. Our two for Farmer Foley. Uh, do a bit of tidying up, a bit of repair work on some vehicles, and then let's get this harvest going. I'm going to need to lease a corn header, so I don't have one. Well, that's okay. I was told that you could actually do it from outside if you get the trigger just right. Let me just check that. I don't need to do the other one, but I suppose this one, if I can get it right up next to it, potentially, I could drop it over the rail, couldn't I? Maybe. Can that go through there? <laughs> Not as easy as you would think. No, that doesn't really know, does it? I don't know, hang on. <laughs> awesome. I can't remember who it was that messaged me that, but thank you very much. Okay, so they should be right now. Uh, let's go down to our two. Yep, they're all golden. Like I say, they just need exercise today. Cool. Right. I will see in a little while. Let's get this, uh, get a bit of repair work done on vehicles. I say the grass has grown again on here. 
so if I needed it I don't think it's fully grown yet but I could do more silage bales or anything else I need to do but for the time being I think I've done enough baling I've done enough grass work the silage is sorted let's get some harvesting done get some more contracts fulfilled but so I do need to check my um, my laptop because I'm pretty sure I've done a couple of contracts completed them and they're probably still sitting on my list but also I probably haven't been paid for them so I need to double check what I've done um, because I do need to supply some eggs to the Lord of the Manor um, as part of the contract with his butler and I say there was that other egg contract that I, I can't remember who it was right, lights off, engine off oops, jump the fence No trouble with the twins on. Doesn't turn as well. Little bit of repair. I found it's far more expensive to repair the uh, the baked bean. You know, quite expensive. Right, uh, twins. Standards. Wheel weights. Wides. What did we have on before? Standards? No, probably wides, wasn't it? The fact it's saying zero, it's not going to cost them any more to do it. So, that's that done. Uh, what else have we got to do? This probably needs some repair work, the cedar. 90, that's good, that's that done. And then we'll come over here and let's feed Delirious while we're here. Awesome. Probably going to be a capello, isn't it? Corn headers. Now, that's what it's designed for, isn't it? Six meter. I think the HS12 might be a bit much. Definitely the HS. Well, I don't know. It might get away with it, you know. to visit to lease 3,000 that's not too bad actually you know what I'm going to lease that the Capello Diamond HS12 9 metre <coughs> we should be alright with that let's get on with it get it done I have to repurpose that field now that didn't get ploughed the first time round so potentially I suppose I should really plough it as well, shouldn't I?
Right, beacons on. Hopefully this is not going to be too wide. Oh, vision's not great, is it? <laughs> oh dear, hang on. Oh yeah, should get through. Busy old road today, isn't it? Off to field 21. Blind as a bat. Probably should have gone the back way. Mind you, the, har the head is not really any wider than the harvester itself. But I suppose harvesters are normally either transported on something or they have an escort. Nearly there. There we go. Field next to us. We are there. Right. How rude. Open it up. Uh, Turn it on. Let's go. I'm just going to go straight across the middle, I think. And then I'll worry about edges and other things, what we're looking at now. I think it's part of the update. I'm trying to think now, with the patch notes for the update. Like I said, it hasn't gone live yet, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a percentage fill level as well, isn't there? I think that was one of the things I said it was going to add. I'm sure it did. I'm probably not even going straight across this field, am I? It's fine, I'll go straight across the middle, then I'll do a couple of headlands, then I'll worry about how I'm going to clear it up from there. Um, so this is Farmer Eric's. Once this is done, like I say, he's winging his way off to the Bahamas. Um, I get 10% of this. <clears throat> so it'll all go to Rainbow Ridge Stores. That's where he has his contract. Um, so whatever he makes, what we're on now, 233000 Obviously, that's a bit difficult because we make a little bit on the solar panels every hour. Regardless, it doesn't matter. Whatever we make over and above 233,000, I will get 10% of that. So, we'll see how we get on. Fingers crossed it'll be a nice little bit of money. But it obviously depends what they're paying at Rainbow Ridge. I'm not that fussed what they're paying. I get 10% of whatever it is. Wow, this filled their friend. There's got to be another edge to it somewhere. So what I think I'm going to do is go right when I get to the other edge because that way the pipe will be on the outside that said I won't have a lot of room but are we there? we made it Like I say, if I go around to the right and um, we'll take the headland this way, there is a little bit of a verge to the left, so I should be able to get a vehicle around. Make sure I get right up to the edge because there's always that ghost corn. 
you see the odd one that every now and again pops up that doesn't appear to be on the field there's always a little bit around the edge that kind of suddenly appears cool nearly there right well this is going to take a little while so <laughs> yeah I'm going to be here for some time see you on the flip side Moonfall. there we go pipe out if I just swing that slightly round like that should be able to get into it actually what I will do if I fold the header up I'll be able to get down the side of it when I that would be a little bit easier wouldn't it cool
we are so nearly finished not far off I've done a second load of 42,860 odd so we've had 84, 85,000 ish off of here so far nearly 86,000 um, and then what I've got in here and what's left to go now something I just want to highlight is that the first part of this video was filmed before the patch slash update um, so it's now showing at the bottom percentage and it says what the crop is as well but something I missed in my video is this now when the game first came out we had that problem that if you put the lights on while the engine was running and you turned the engine off the lights went out so Giants changed it and what they did was had it so that they wouldn't go off if you turn the engine off but then they had that problem that you had to have the engine running to turn them on and off now that's changed again so in the update now I can turn the engine off and I can still toggle through the lights now so I don't have to have the engine running or on or any other thing I can toggle the lights to my heart's content with the engine on or off happy days it's a minor thing but you know thought I'd better mention it because I missed it off my video the trouble was it wasn't on the patch notes and I, I, someone sent me a comment saying um, you missed it and I thought the only thing was I had read in the forum comments the day before yesterday before the patch came out no not yesterday depends when I post this video um, and I just completely forgot but it is what it is I remembered all the other stuff it's always the way isn't it people always remember the one thing you miss <laughs> not all the things you do do but it doesn't matter so almost there oh I remember as well the uh, the contract for eggs was Mr Cornell um, I just wanna it was Mr Cornell and it was if I remember correctly for a regular amount of eggs uh, Mr Cornell, he's the owner and manager of Cornell's Farm Market he's looking for a steady supply of eggs for his store um, so we will be doing that contract because I've got plenty of boxes sitting there um, weirdly, and I don't know again it's probably me imagining things but since I did the patch, the update, the download the yield off this field seemed to drop I didn't seem to be getting as much as I did before I know that sounds weird and probably not accurate I don't know whether I'm just imagining that but the other thing was the egg boxes my egg box that was sat there I'd moved all the ones that were full the one that was filling up was on 136 litres so I thought okay won't be much longer that'll be 150 and the next box will spawn I've come back into the game since doing the update and it's now only so it's got 90 litres in it so I'm not sure why I've lost eggs somewhere it's, I don't know, it's one of those peculiar things I don't know what's happened why is the harvest just stopped oh it's the gap isn't it anyway so yeah we'll be getting on with this we're nearly done uh, and then I think I will deliver the eggs for Mr Cornell and I'll deliver the first batch of eggs oh we did this before I don't know why he keeps doing this it seems to be having a bit of a fit he's not sure that well, she's not sure that can't be right um, yeah that's weird that's better um, yeah so that's going to be a regular thing for Mr Cornell and for um, Marwell Manor itself so I think what I'll do for the end of the episode is um, deliver some eggs do so we'll get these sent off we'll work out how much we're owed and then it's not a huge amount of money but then I'm getting to lease this field so I'm not actually too bothered about that right then that's the last bit off of there 51% full another 22,000 litres so we've had well over 100,000 litres off that field uh, we won 233,000 when we started bringing it here. So when this goes in, Farmer Eric, 
contract complete. Your money will be winging its way to the Bahamas, where I hope your recuperation continues. So, a bit of basic maths then. 33 to 92, almost 93. So we're looking at 60 grand. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. So £6,000 of that would be for me, because I get 10% of that. But I'm not going to take 10%, because that money is going to be going towards my first year's lease of Bill 21 from Fun Merrick. So what I need to do is get that money off to him, and we'll be back down to 233000 What I also need to do is get this trailer back. Don't really need to put any fuel in this yet because it's actually doing pretty well. Then we'll head over to Southview's farm and uh, get those eggs delivered. I'm pleased with that. So the silage has been done, that's compacted. Bill 21 has been harvested, which is what we're intending to do in this episode. That will need to be ploughed, I'm sure it's ploughed. Uh, then we'll get the harvester back as well, that's going to need a bit of repair, I would imagine. Let's just double check that. Um, field 21. That's now harvested. Cool. Go back to soil composition. Yep, it's red. Uh, if I take that off though, does it need lime? No, I did lime before, didn't I? Yeah, because you can see some bits around the edge. So that just needs ploughing really if I want to get maximum yield off that next. I have a plan for field 21 and for field 18. Uh, so once I've got the sugar beet off of field 18, I've got two more contracts, one that I've had for a little while, and I wasn't sure whether I was going to do it or not, but I've got another one come in for the same product, or the same crop, so I think... Yeah, I won't tell you what it is yet. That would be a nice surprise. A nice surprise for some time later. Righty ho, let's get this back. Um, and I will see you over at Southview's farm in a little while. We'll get those eggs taken. I want to get some more sheep, so I think I'll probably do that as well. Uh, they're producing very well. I've just moved another pallet while the harvesting is going on. Um, so we've got four pallets now, I think, in there. The contract I've got is for ten pallets, not eleven. Um, so when I get closer to fulfilling that, I'll go into more detail. Um, right. Oh, I do need to take that chaff over, don't I? No, I'm going to need to check my sugar beet contracts because the two contracts I've got, I'm pretty sure, between them both, I'm pretty sure I was offered either the money to lease equipment or I was told I could use their equipment or something like that. I don't know. I will check because if not, I'll have to lease it myself. Um, but then I should make enough money back on the contract that leasing it's okay. But it's a big field. It's going to take a long time. Uh, that's probably going to be the next episode anyway. Right, I'm going to get the harvester back, get that repaired. And I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so the harvester is in for repairs. Now, I was going to end this episode um, selling the eggs. I am going to sell the eggs, but I'm going to do them off screen because something else has been brought to my attention. Um, as well as the whole engine off lights thing, which we can keep doing for ages and ages and ages, um, I'm going to be replacing the cedar. I've decided. Um, and there's a good reason why I'm going to replace the cedar. First I've got to empty it, so... Uh, Oh, look at all those look, numbers and percentages and words and stuff. It's all very complicated, isn't it? So, let's unload this about there. That's unloaded. Wonderful. It does mean I've got pallets all over the place at the moment, but that's not too much of a problem.
Sugar Beet next. That's what's going to be coming. I'm really curious to see how much I get off that field. <laughs> I really, really. I need 400,000. I think I'll get that easily, but I'm just curious how much more I get than that. Now this, as I, if I look into my kind of tablet view, it's going to sell for about 66 grand. That said, if I sell it at the store, you always get a little bit more, don't you? So. Let's sell this. Is it repairing? No. I mean, it's 79. That's 80 grand. That's pretty good. Okay. So, 312,000. Uh, what we are going to buy under planters, you'll be glad to know that as part of the update patch, the Great Plains YP 2425A is back how it was before all of the planters generally speaking will just do corn sunflower soybean uh, sugar beet and cotton the great plains yp 2425a was brilliant on um, fs17 because it did all of them that's back it now does wheat barley oats canola it will do cover crop and it will do grass as well which makes it a phenomenal bit of kit very very wide as well 18.2 meters requires 280 horsepower so i will pull it with the um uh, the bait bing um it will only seed not fertilize and also it won't um direct drill so um, you're kind of losing a couple of things but gaining a couple of things by doing that so oh trailer attach or three point oh that's an interesting one if you have it as a trailer attacher, that will still attach to a tractor, won't it? And having a trailer attacher means if you had a truck, you could technically seed with a truck. But I'm not going to. I think I'm going to go three point. I mean, at the end of the day, um, I can I can take it into uh, my workshop and customise that whenever I need to. So we've got a new toy. Awesome. Let's say couple that with the front tank that we've got already as well. That's going to increase. I didn't even look at the capacity. What was the was it? Five thousand nine hundred or something, isn't it? Five thousand eight hundred. There we go. Five thousand eight hundred with two thousand two hundred on the front. That's going to be an eight thousand litre cedar. Awesome. Well, there we go. Again, one of those little things I wasn't expecting to be doing. Now, how much cedar do I have? In the it does mean that fertilizer I've got. Well, it's not worthless because I can put it into my uh, fertilizer spread. Of course I can. Now this will pull it there, but it won't have enough. I think this is it. 240 or 280 horsepower. This Massey Ferguson. So it might have enough to seed, but if I've got the bait bean, I might as well use that. I'm just thinking, do I need to put any seed in this while I'm here? Because I don't think I've got enough. I'll put a couple in. So we're back down to 171,000, but I've got some more contracts to do which are going to pay out again, so the money will go back up again. And that's the whole point making money, improving our machinery. Let's open. Let's get a couple in here. Cool. And I'll get this back to the yard. It's a much bigger beast than the last one, but very cool nonetheless. And with that, we have come to the end of another episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one. We've got a bit more done. Another contract complete for Farm Eric. I'll be getting one of the eggs in a minute. A new piece of machinery. Sugar beet will come next. Soybeans planting the 13 and 14. Yeah, we're all good. 
uh, and bunker silo compacted and fermenting so fantastic if you have enjoyed this episode give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching <laughs>